But, oh yes. Um, you know, I think I think Ben would want Smash Poppy to win. Mm -hmm. Um, Cree Stab like production and the stream would want Conduit Gaming Smash uh, Smash Poppy to take a win here because mm -hmm. uh, they really like supporting their players. And if you want to support Conduit Gaming, you can also check out the sh some merch and the shop. Support uh, grassroots. There's some really, like really good stuff in there, too. Justin Warren, so I have known for a pretty long time in the scene, too. I guess probably like 2017, so I first saw his stuff. Uh, there's like the Polo shirt, which is like a good like, thing with the space design. There's like the ICs, like, you know, the slushies. They got like a little play on that with the guy survivors. There's a hoodie as well, got those logos. There's also like this really cool Get Lucky, you know, the trophy gallery in this game, the little lottery machine. You can get that on like on a long sleeve for a hoodie. Like, there's some really fun stuff. You know, we got the traditional condo gaming stuff. If you guys want a limited edition Freezer's Kirby hat, that is in the shop so if you want to rep that just know rep by conduit gaming's own freezes hey it's in there mm, yeah conduit gaming's own smash poppy though not quite able to uh really actually no that was a uh sick confirm from the uphill um now as you were saying Celios, we did see both of them at tip top here moff having definitely the more storied one um where she three-o'd jamu uh, which you think, wow, that's incredible. Um, if for some reason you know who both those players are, but you don't know, the Sheik Icy's matchup is really, really, it's really brutal. bad. Yeah. And, and Moff is, I think, probably the best in the world at punishing Sheik off the grab. Yeah. I think she still might even have the best hand off squish. I can agree. I, for, I would also think Slug before, like, you know, you stop being as active as he was, but you know, I think right now it definitely goes to Moff. You know, getting that win. It's huge, and then uh, Jay Mook's history against Icy. I know he also lost to Slug at LSI last year, also 3 0. So, having his history of you know, having styles kind of counteract how Jay Mook plays is pretty big if you're someone like Mob and Slug. Um, but yeah, right now, he kind of continues kind of style here, kind of going up against Smash Bobby style. And Mob looking pretty comfortable despite losing. I know technically here it's Popo, but sometimes it's okay to say Nana. Well. Primary climber. Uh, yeah, the primary climber. What, usually, what I call solo Nana is um, Alona. That's what I refer to as. Uh, My okay. favorite that I've heard is. No po. No po no is very funny. Very funny, and it's got that precious melee charm. Mm -hmm. You got Popo in there somehow too. So if you want to yeah. see Popo a lot. E even the two of them just wailing on a on a fox is really cute and very charming. Um, even even as a sheep main, the the natural prey <laughs> of Master of Flavor, I can still admit that the handoffs are indeed cute. Mm -hmm. um, I just don't think Poppy thinks so right now handoffs you could say as shocker likes to say are immaculate too look at i mean look at really good at that first game but yes yes off to a very um, good start great start and i think great start from her new sponsor um i think this spiral is probably, cafe right yeah hmm? spiral cafe is her new sponsor right uh spiral yeah, yeah. oh yeah yeah. yeah yeah yes okay yes i know what you're saying now. yes uh that is right fresh fresh off and she's a grinder as well i think this is not her first bracket even since being sponsored like days ago um but you know that's that's what's paying off is the grinding yeah uh, usually, like, poppy grind out that sorry cut you off <laughs> these here are usually at the cg brackets whenever i commentate these or at least watch it they're usually the, at least one of them is in here Ozzy cg being smash poppy sponsored and moff just being an online grinder on, on top of being an irl player so for it's sure. like it's you know just staying active but you know tipped off just being it was last weekend right it was like so much longer ago for some reason yeah <laughs> Oh, immediately with the grab. Um, the, the way that she got that opening actually is uh, Poppy went for the forward throw, which typically good. Um, one of the best throws that you can do on Ices because um, getting hit by the, the Spacey's forward throw, nice day I into down smash. Um, getting launched by that is, is a really good opener and separates them, but uh, Poppy doing it a little bit too slow and uh, getting the shield lag gets grabbed instead. Yeah, and now, yeah, Moff now also gonna go down, try to get an opening, but kind of gets caught in her movement instead. Smash Ray kind of closes the stop. So we're gonna come back down, take her time on the Angel button. And, a little bit. and now Smash Ray taking pick in the more corner based defensive game, which kind of like it being blown up so much in Alaska. This is big. So we're gonna live that despite the handoff. But Moff okay, is gonna hold her ground. Yep. Right to repeat. There we go. Simply right back up. Yep. Ooh, I like that. I like doing this with the invincibility because, like, it's pretty low risk, high probability. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think the reward is that much, but using the invincibility to just go for Nana, um, I, the the problem with going for Nana in a lot of situations. Whoa! Okay. Ooh. She doesn't quite get a little bit dicey. Oh, no, up there either. 
Let's watch the edge guard. I yeah. love that forward smash. Forward smash plays something like that, but makes like the smash look so tough sometimes for edge guarding like either climber because it's like you just send them right back and you just don't make it back to the stage like this. Yeah, horizontally is so far, and you you go down a little bit too. <laughs> now, um, I do I do think like. The big problem in going for Nana in a lot of situations is you just get interrupted. Um, and you also have to be concerned with the target switching. That can make things just a little bit more difficult to think about um, what your next moves are. But using that time to just build, like, I don't know, 40% or something on Nana will really, really pay off um, in your next neutral interactions. It'll just send Nana so much further away, and mm -hmm. it makes the Icy's player have to be a lot more cognizant of uh, where their climbers are. Yes. Um, in order to like maneuver around, you know, because their positioning just isn't that good, or they're just like they get too tunnel visiony on either end, but more so the ice that they forget. Oh my god, my other climber has gotten beat up pretty badly. You take like mm. a back air or a forward smash from Fox, that climber just will come back, and you're on your own again. Which is what the scary thing about going against a what well, was a Fox, and they're going against a Falcon. And smash Poppy, you know, an expert on the game, someone who plays many different characters. I think with the last one, he's playing Bowser for some reason towards the dragon. So he busts with some other people sometimes, but Moth's just like not phased by it. He's ah. like, all right. Cool, I see that bet, and now you're dead. Yeah, I do think, I mean, I don't hate it. Um, like, I've seen some pretty, pretty convincing, and I think they're having more fun, uh, the Falcons, when they're beating up on Icy's. And yeah. the, the reason why, like, this just gets a little bit easier is because Falcon can still do what his regular game plan is typically. Um, shuffling aerials just, like, work better as a top tier than a lot of the other top tiers' aerials because the shield stun and, like, the sh hit lag on the shield um, on, on both shields, like, is pretty long. Um, so it's, they're just, like, generally a little bit safer. Yeah, just like with the Falcons, they also, they also come out incredibly quickly to the Falcons end. So it's like his style... Mm -hmm. Doesn't really change with other characters. Here, whenever you watch some of the high level plays, they used to play so differently too. Because they're like, I can't really drift in a lot of them playing his puffs. So I have to like hit them, back away, wait till one of them gets hit, do it again. She gets yeah. played a whole different way. It's a whole you different mindset. Grab. You, 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 you cannot if, grab. If anyone connects any grab, you're dead. Yes. Whether they can grab you or you grab them. It's the Marge Simpson, or the lowest group trying to like, reach for the um, like the bottle of pills thing. She gets like grabs. It's like I cannot do that right now. As much as I want to, it's just like it's die. Like I should not do it. You're and, gonna like, you're gonna have to link me that one. Yeah, it's, I, 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 might, I, might, I might have to make that one up. This is over. It has already okay. been done before. But yeah, 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 that's what it feels like. Um, but then everyone else, like, okay, I have to pillar combo for Falco. I have to run in shy to play Fox, which is isn't too different. But he has to be fall but, afterwards too. But, but yeah, go ahead. But like all, when they're doing that, the shield pressure is generally like pretty frame tight, and the fact that they're hitting two shields generally like most spaces can't contend the way that they typically do. So mm -hmm. even though they're doing the same thing, the execution of that is even different as well. Yeah. Put an asterisk next to how you usually play it, but like that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. But yeah. there's someone else here. <laughs> you know, but Falcon, like, he's got that really high horizontal acceleration too, so like, even on a stage like this, um, he can sort of play with the Icy's range instead of just having to like, read them or go to where they are. Mm -hmm. And and I think like what you're saying, that's what you're saying right now is like, Smash Poppy able to go in, but also back out uh, versus the climbers. And even though like taking some pretty big punishes, like it's close. Yeah, it's still relatively close. And yeah, now we got a climber out. That should be oh. a drop zone knee. Let's see. Let's see guard. It, it, it's just looking locked in right now. Oh, and the down smash? Actually, that's yeah, it does stuff, it. I feel like. I feel like. Yeah, that's like. Creative. Poppy. I, I think actually that's like ancient magic. Like from, you know, he's top 400 back in like 2014 or something as well. Way back. Yeah, yeah, I feel like, oh, yeah, yeah of course you do that. And yeah, it still works. It, it didn't make it all the way through. Wow. Oh, and the That's Nana is it. dead. Wow. Oh, she Moff, she doesn't even want to try the Sopo for two stocks, especially with that first stock not being super high percent even either. Yeah, how locked in like Smash was looking, how comfortable he was, despite like, you know, just switching over to Falcon for game three. Mm -hmm. Did look very, very nice. So Smash Pop, you to send Moff down the losers then. Um, because that was, Already? or is that? I thought, I thought that was, uh, I think that's 2-1 two, Smash Oh, 2-1-2. Two, two. Oh, I forgot. I forgot Moff won game I one believe. for some reason. Yeah, that's, that's my bad. current belief. Yeah, game um, one feels so long ago now. <laughs> we just saw Falcon, yeah. We yeah. are talking about all different kinds of matchups. Yeah, because it's like, um, when you see like a shift like this, it's like, oh yeah, I forgot that I have Moff won game one. But now it's just like, 
Let's see what happens in this, in this other one. I think for mobs, they're just not affording to get blown up so much, and also just not being stuck in shield a lot. So I feel like if you're just not really mm -hmm. casually being stuck in shield against Falcon, it was used as pressure a lot, as we were talking about in the last game, it can lead you to more, like, you know, vitality and not shame both. This is kind of what mob needs to look for. So I don't really mm -hmm. saw us at all. Yeah, it's just hard. I mean, it's it's really hard to just get a grab on on Smash Poppy, but I think that like when she did, she was killing generally, like putting on a lot of percent. It's just this ability for Smash Poppy to run around um, and just like lay aerials without getting super blown up, getting some good separations that I think won him that last game. But I think Moff is just like just a few interactions like we're seeing right now from making it like a. You know, like a game just five. an easy dub, yeah. Yeah, sure. like you can go to a game five. Yeah. I know it's like a staying away from Falcon's like threat. So they have way dashing away for stuff like me, way dashing away from the back air every once in a while too. She's controlling her ground a lot better, just understanding what Falcon wants to do a little bit better. And now it's up with clean two stocks right away. He's looking a lot more clean in her punish game and her handoffs are definitely showing more prominently here. And that's a jab grab. We did see last game. Oh wow, Mop with a huge space agree. Did you see? Yeah. She just wave dash back and remained. Yeah, didn't get touched by the by the Raptor boost, so she did not. Oh, she got out of that unscathed. Got some percent at least. Falcon just like just Raptor boosted right to her feet. Like he <laughs> slid forward, and the gravel just like barely touched her like cleat boots. You massive. Know what I mean? If Falcon died, that would have been a huge uh, Sarah McLaughlin moment in the arms of an angel. Oh, wow. Neon. Yes. Uh, that's what I'm saying. It's just like these small neutral interactions with Moff's punish game turn the game completely around. It's just these, like, these interactions of just, like, pixels. You know what I mean? <laughs> yes. Like, that, that's, it's, it's the micro melee, as people like to say, too. It's just, like these very yeah. small moments. Okay, yeah, I should be aware that that's where that hitbox ends. Cool. I can grab Not you now. Not not guaranteed, Moff. Oh, she reacts to one of them. Can't get the rest, but still a ton of damage for a center stage grab. That's a great oh, grab. Nuts. She went for something fancy. Wow. Surprised that didn't hit. <laughs> oh, but now you're giving Smash Poppy a chance. This, you're giving Smash Poppy a chance. This, is, oh. this would be good. And knees, and knees the main climber. This is scary. He's oh, he can't no, do this. No, no, he can't no. do this. He can't do this. No what? way. He's grabbing. He's grabbing at that zero percent. That was so dangerous. This is a madman. He's not clutching it out. He needs to play perfectly. Playing way too dangerous oh. right now. Oh, gets the knee. Okay, he gets the main climber. Wow, another escape. Is he? Oh, okay, man. okay, okay. You can't, you can't just flip. You can't just slip in. Finally, Ooh. I was like, there's no shot. He actually takes this. Little but... bit of yeah, missed target switching, right? Yeah, maybe also got a little bit overzealous. Five thousand on one of those. He's hitting the other climber instead. But that is Moff really takes a breather. Funny. That yeah, is. that is yeah. very funny. I know. That. I heard that. I remember I was commenting with Trey the Trashman a while ago, and I heard that from him. Like, I remember Zell's five thousand. That's a fucking throwback, and I've been thinking about that ever since then. Overzealous five thousand. What a banger! I, we got to think of more one. like that. Yeah. Yeah. I got to think of some other ones too. Another thing I like to talk about is when um we were talking about Chica Slammers earlier. Whenever I watched J Flex play that match, it's like he's like he's like founding a new business because the way he plays it. So he's like, okay, I want to start a big foundation here. Keep working on that Smash goes on. Go back to it. Work on it a little bit. That's yes. how I described it. He was playing against Slug at Creed. I was thinking yes. like fun little stories like that. Yes, it's a framing device, mm -hmm. uh, like Overzealous 5000. Speaking of 5000, we're on game five, mm -hmm. uh, and Smash Poppy is back to Fox, and we're off of FD, which is a big relief for Smash Poppy. Um, gives him a lot more reprieve from that grounded game, being able to be on the platforms, and the lack of walls to slide up don't hurt neither. Yeah, exactly. Plus, it's not really as like wide here, so you can get to kills earlier. But that also can complement Moth if she gets a handoff like right now mm, potentially. And yeah. let's see what she's got. This Wish is so it killed. Yeah, this. She's actually so good. <laughs> yeah, she was a right pack cover. Talking about how well he was playing. So consistent. <laughs> oh, but that is some a really efficient nana damage, and she's <laughs> dead too. Yeah, she gone. And now it's just like the lone climber. Now it's, we saw it pretty much almost close to this in the first time. Here we got tech chase. That's all you can really do at this point. Crazy tech chases. I actually kind of like that. I'll smash. I think typically it's dash attack that like tech tracks traps them and keeps yep. them in the combo. But mm -hmm. uh, that was just kind of cute as well. Not didn't make the read, but I, I like the spirit. 
Yeah, someone who I remember using Dash Deck really well was, um, first of all, if you remember him, Infinite Numbers is really good at that. Of course, so you usually help. do. Yep, now no, now goes by that. He used use Dash Deck and grab a lot. So whenever I watched him versus Crush in New England, he typically would see what end was of a dash into grab, then back when Wobble was legal, he would wobble afterwards too. Mm -hmm. um, so he was like, pretty immaculate that's it, stuff like that. But Scene Clapper still kind of rock it every once in a while too, just fix it back to those little 2016, 2017 memories. Yeah, I I really think it's really cool for me to see Smash Poppy right now, especially hopping off after Mop's huge performance that tipped off. It's because Smash Poppy for me is like, when I first got into Melee, I was like, I need to memorize everyone on the top 100. I need to know who all of the, the canon of players are. Yes, um, what's and, the lore? Th things definitely like changed a lot over the pandemic. Moth is a product of that change, mm -hmm. um, or, or like arose in those new conditions. But mm -hmm. Smash Poppy being here and like keeping it com like really competitive, it's a tight game five, is uh, is just cool to see. It's kind of like an old guard versus like this new generation type of thing. So mm -hmm. kind of it. Absolutely. <laughs> and uh, we're going to see, I think, Ooh, Smash Bobby does have a little bit of that old school still like, oh, that works? Like, that seems consistent. Yeah. And nothing more consistent than a Shine Spike. Yeah, that's 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 the tried and true stuff. That's stuff that's always going to be here. That's a timeless melee classic. Oh, okay. Smash, Smash Poppy having an opportunity to kill Nana. He's not getting too thirsty. Which I like, oh my god. The up hit, the up hit box is insane. Did you see that? Oh my god. Oh my god. I, and she actually might come back with this too. I can't believe that actually worked. Okay, wait. Not okay, this is impossible. huge. Not she can impossible. actually do it. She has crazy down throw tech chases as well. So if they get, like, Smash Poppy gets opened up on the ground, this is a really good edge guard though. Solid. Oh, she gets back to ledge. That takes it was so good. Just like any like wave dash forward grab or some kind of grab. Dude. Huge butt. No. Wow. It was. Oh, can you imagine? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Chris. Oh my God. We would have had like. What the fuck? I'm we sorry. almost had a situation where like the, the ice climber dies, but the fox messes up. Remember that's like an Alice Climbers clip where she like literally like she like I think she dies off the top, but the fox player whoever it was just gets killed by Randall and Yoshi. Then she wins the set. Oh. <laughs> God, I got, I got PTSD for a second.